I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. Well, Starbucks coffee is pulling the plug on its controversial Race Together campaign after social media backlash. Bottom line for most Starbucks customers who weighed in on the controversy was that they just wanted their coffee without a side of awkward diversity dialogue. I took their little quiz, by the way. Turns out that I have not had dinner with, or gone to school with, or Facebook friended, etc., anyone of a different race, ever. Why? Because everyone I know is part of the human race. Thanks for being a part of the racism problem, Starbucks. In Lincoln, Nebraska, a 21-year-old man was pulled over on suspicion of drunken driving. During a search of the man's vehicle, cops found a 16-ounce sour cream container under the driver's seat. On the container, the words, not weed. Police found about 11 grams of weed inside the not weed container. His I'm not a drug dealer t-shirt probably didn't help things either. Police in Portland, Oregon arrested an 18-year-old on accusations of stealing two bicycles and a goat. He stole the goat because he wanted to have horns for the two bicycles. New proof that big butts are huge. More than 13,000 people in the United States paid a plastic surgeon to enhance their butts last year, according to a new report just released by the American Society of Plastic Surgeons. Butt-boosting surgeries were among the fastest-growing cosmetic surgeries in 2014. You know, it's nice to know I'm ahead of the curve on something for a change. A sign welcoming tourists to Miami Beach briefly offered visitors a confusing message. The flashing portable sign alongside the Julia Tuttle Causeway last Tuesday read, Welcome Visitors! Prohibited! City officials apologized for the error, and the sign was removed to be corrected. City spokeswoman Nanette Rodriguez says Miami Beach certainly welcomes visitors. She offers apologies to anyone who was offended. Of course, only the welcome visitors would have been offended. The unwelcome visitors weren't prohibited in the first place. After all, the sign said, Welcome Visitors Prohibited. Apparently, unwelcome visitors were perfectly fine. With Americans spending up to $210 billion annually on obesity-related medical treatment, finance website WalletHub conducted an analysis of 2015's metro areas with the biggest and smallest weight problems. The site used 12 key metrics to gauge where towns nationwide stand and found that Provo, Utah is the town with the least number of residents with weight problems. They are followed by Colorado Springs, San Jose, Denver, and San Francisco. On the other side of the scale, the town with the largest weight problem nationwide is Shreveport, Louisiana. Now, my town of Chicago came in at number 30, but it would have come in much higher if I didn't live here. Sorry, guys, the diet isn't going all that well. But I do have a great butt. An ecstatic New Mexico couple who got engaged on top of Sandia Peak had to curtail their celebrations after getting stuck for hours because of high winds. Arthur Edelhoff and Lindsay Duncan of Corrales took the tram up the mountain, then, after taking happy engagement photos, the couple were told they had to wait for the 40-mile-per-hour winds to die down before they could return. See, this is great preparation for their future. Considering the high winds, Arthur will likely be creating under the covers during the rest of their marriage. Around 30,000 pounds, or one and a quarter tons, of live lobsters from Canada survived for several hours after a truck carrying them slid off a highway in Maine last week and were quickly back on their way to New Hampshire and Rhode Island markets. The truck was fully loaded with about $300,000 worth of lobsters from Nova Scotia in seawater. Police say a crane was used to get the truck upright, but it was damaged beyond repair. After a crew ensured the well-being of the lobsters, they were loaded on other trucks, taking them to their intended destinations. So glad we ensured the well-being of those lobsters. Aren't you? I mean, I'd hate to think of them not being in absolute perfect condition and mental well-being before tossing them into bubbling water to be boiled alive. That's your daily dose of weird news. I'm Darren Marlar. 
Get more weird news at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. While you're there, you can join the Daily Dose of Weird News Facebook group. You can see other weird news stories. You can post your own, download the free app for Apple or Android, sign up for my newsletter, visit me on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, check out audiobooks that I have voiced, and more. It's all in one place, DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. Until next time, keep it real. Weird. 